This is a prairie dog town, full of hundreds of prairie dogs that all seem to, more or less, get along. They're social little critters and live in groups called coteries. Each group usually has an adult male, a few females, and various youngsters. Add up dozens and dozens of coteries and you get a whole town. Members of a coterie are very affectionate with each other and may spend a lot of time grooming one another. When members of a group run into each other, you'll sometimes see them kiss. They touch their teeth together and smell each other to make sure they're who they say they are. We wouldn't want any intruders sneaking in, now would we? Members of the same coterie all tend to get along fairly well, but they don't always get along with their neighbors. One of the jobs of the male is to patrol the boundaries of his property. You'll often see a few prairie dogs acting as sentry, ready to warn the others if there's danger lurking nearby. And if danger comes too close, down the hole they go. Each of these holes leads to an underground burrow. The burrow is usually a maze of several tunnels and underground chambers that the prairie dogs use for nesting, sleeping, and for listening for predators. Each burrow usually has several entrances. That helps prairie dogs escape more quickly from a predator, and it also gives them back doors to slip out of in case of an attack. But those burrows must be a bit cramped, because this guy needs a good stretch. Prairie dogs spend most of the day outside, and besides keeping a lookout for predators and working on their burrows and squabbling with the neighbors, they... Eat a lot of grass. With all these critters living in such tight quarters, they need to be able to communicate. They have at least 12 different calls. Here's a call you'll often hear in a prairie dog town. It means Hey, everybody, there's a crazy lady with a video camera at 12 o'clock. It also means, go away. Another common call is the jump yip. It can mean several different things. Sometimes it means, it's safe, the horrible badger is gone. And sometimes it just means, Hooray! I feel like jumping. And once one prairie dog starts in on it, oftentimes others will join in. It's quite a sight to see all those prairie dogs jumping and yipping at once. And when settlers first came to the West, they were amazed by the sheer numbers of these little guys. Before the West was settled, there were as many as five billion prairie dogs spread over hundreds of millions of acres. But as the West was settled, many farmers and ranchers began to see prairie dogs as a nuisance, and their numbers began to dwindle. Another reason they're disappearing is that people brought along rats with them to the west, and the rats carried the plague. Whole prairie dog towns can be wiped out in a matter of days by the plague. Today, the prairie dog's range is only about 1% of what it once was, and they're still disappearing. But it goes way beyond that. Prairie dogs are what's known as a keystone species. That means 
lots of other animals depend on them to survive. Many critters, like burrowing owls and rabbits, use abandoned prairie dog burrows for shelter. Mountain plovers munch on the insects that are attracted to prairie dog towns. Swift fox and prairie rattlesnakes, along with black-footed ferrets, one of the most endangered animals in America, depend on prairie dogs as a food source. As prairie dogs disappear, these other animals may disappear with them. Oddly enough, one of the places that prairie dogs still thrive is in the middle of urban development. As humans have developed more and more land, they crowd the prairie dogs into smaller and smaller spaces. There are also natural areas scattered here and there where prairie dogs are protected, but it may not be enough. The good news is that by learning more about prairie dogs, you have already taken the first step to helping save them. By learning even more about prairie dogs, and by supporting organizations that protect them, you can help ensure that prairie dogs will be around to enjoy for years to come. And if we all act together, perhaps we can save them before they disappear. To learn more about how you can help save prairie dogs, I recommend you visit the Prairie Dog Coalition online at www.prairiedogcoalition.org.